Hey guys, I just want to do a small tutorial on optical flares, uh, the by video copilot, and I've done a few things there, but I'll show you that later on. Just walk you through the basics of how to sort of animate it and stuff like that. So create a new composition, create a new solid. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and just drag on optical flares onto the solid. Now this will be your standard. You can move this about like this. Um, but we can obviously change this uh, particular fair itself. Uh, I've got this uh, pack called the Pro Presets 2 pack. Uh, I found it on some YouTube site. I'll link it down below and you can get it for yourself. I always just grab it from here. I've also got these things, lots of different ones here. And I suppose you can make your own as well, but I'm not, I've never bothered making them do that. So I just want something nice and simple. Maybe just something like nice and bright, something like this. Yep. Also, I always hate all these damn uh, irises and stuff, so I'm just going to get rid of that for now. So you see all the uh, different um, things here. You can get rid of this. And see what we want to get rid of. Just everything generally that says multi iris. So I'm going to get rid of all these stupid lines and stuff. I just want the simple. And I'm going to get rid of these hoops, and maybe I'll leave one of them in. Uh, just keep getting rid of all this stuff. Extra stuff that's not necessary. Um, maybe this one up here. Don't necessarily need this blow, but yeah, we'll get rid of it. Uh, obviously, on each individual thing, you can uh, change how it works as well, so you can make it really bright or something like that. So just flow here, and I just want to change this particular thing here. So this one goes to that one, and we just, I'm just going to up this glow here. So I, I want to be quite bright. Yeah, and get rid of this. this one here. So just something very simple at the moment. Obviously, if you want something more complicated, you can have it down here. Uh, there's loads of different things you can look on. Uh, if you look in here, you can actually start making your own as well. If that's okay. Now we've got this, you can move this around like so, or you can go to just the next wire, just press this button and it'll go because if you turn that tick off sometimes and you click on it, that thing's gone. So you just click on this again and you can move it again like so. Uh, I like generally like to have that up in the corner or something, so like maybe you have a line coming down like so. Um, to get it to show the picture underneath, so I've just got a few pictures here. I'm just gonna make this uh, visible. You will have to change the mode of it to, I think, either overlay or screen would work as well. Let's see. I like screen better. Uh, you can change all your typical settings here, so your brightness, I mean, your scale. Feeling much bigger general brightness that just makes it uh, more brighter. So this might work for in terms of flashes and stuff if you want to use it at certain points. So if I like, put up here and there, just want this to be 100%. Want this to be 100% as well. Oops, sorry. Uh, and all this stuff can be keyframed as well, and so even position and stuff. So like, let's say we want the um, Thing to stop here, up here, few frame that, few frames ahead, want to be done here, so it just got this nice sort of uh, thing coming down like that, and be useful if you have a long streak to go across it like this, um, so if I click to an option again, and we add on the massive streak, and maybe another one. Yeah, so I press OK. So you got a nice streak here, so it's going down like that. I just prefer if I do like this. Yeah, so you might you find that useful. Don't know, who knows. Um, so yeah, that's like the main basics of how to animate this sort of stuff. There's not much you really need to know. I suppose you can know about flicker as well. So like, um, put this about 40 and put it about 30 maybe. 
it just do uh, an animation of um, let's just get rid of uh, this and turn this off so you can see it properly. It will just keep uh, sort of upping and uh, it will just sort of change how this looks. You can see it slightly pulses and stuff. And obviously, if you change this up, so you change this to about 50 maybe, then it will change at a faster rate or a larger rate. Yep. And obviously, we put it. So if it's up to something like 100, you should see it'll go quite a lot quicker. Yeah. Simple stuff like that. Uh, motion blurring is all that. I never really mess around with that. The, uh, instead of doing the merge, you can do it on transparent as well. So let's put it back on. Oh, this one's alright. Yeah, so I've got two pictures there. I'll show you a bit later on. Uh, and you can change the tint of it. I mean, the general color of the tint. Of it, or a bluish color, like something lighter blue. Whitish blue, I think. Yeah, you can sort of change the color of how it looks as well. Change the mode as well. Like the tint better. And that's about it. Uh, I've never really messed with the 3D stuff, but you can also do that when you've got 3D cameras and stuff. So, if you put in a 3D camera, just try it out now. Why not? Uh, the camera. You turn this layer to 3D. And then make this pretty light. Oh, we have to enable the pretty light. Why isn't it working? Oh, I don't know. I've never really tried that. Maybe I'll love the container another time. Anyway, so yeah, that's the main sort of simple stuff. That you want to look at from here you can also have a look at all the other different settings and stuff but i mean that's generally the most things you'll need to know about keyframing this stuff that's about it and location stuff like that so just turn this one off i did a simple sort of thing before just turn this off here i made a simple transition from using the brightness Ivan wanted to know how to do this so all I did was just I put it up in the corner and I increased the uh, brightness of it, I believe. Yeah, so I just uh, keyframed it a few times like that. And it gives a nice little smooth brightness coming in with like that. Or you can have it wherever you want, but um, I like it in the corner like that when you're doing like this. So yeah, really simple, really easy to do. Um, useful when you're doing like just the uh, general like 3d work maybe or something like that yeah play around with it have a look um how to do the things what the hell that was uh, so yeah uh that was how to use uh, optical flares if you need optical flares message me if you can't find it and i'll give you the package and stuff uh, it's really simple, really easy to use, and um, you can get a lot out of it when you start looking into it. So yeah, that was Optical Flares. See you in another tutorial. Bye bye guys.